What's up everyone? So, I'm here today at the famous Englishman's Bay in Tobago. However, we're not going to be doing a video on Englishman's Bay because I've already done one. I'm just using this spot as a starting point because I'm actually heading up to Charlotteville, Tobago. I'm here with my wife and her family and I've decided to take them on a little coastal drive along the Tobago side here on the northern side of Tobago. And we're going to Charlotteville to explore the beach a little bit as well as there's a lovely restaurant that I have always visited over the last few years called Suck Hole Restaurant, which is one of my favorite little restaurants in Tobago. A very well kept secret, although popular amongst many tourists who come from away. And they serve a really typical beachside style food with wedges, different types of meats, fresh fish or shrimp, depending on what you want. However, there's a little bit of flair to it and the portions are really massive. So I'm gonna definitely show you guys that once we get up there today. On your next trip to Tobago, definitely hit up Charlotteville and hit up Suckhole restaurant for a delicious meal. Now I know I said I'm not making a video on Englishman's Bay, but just because we're here, just a reminder. Always check out Tobago's beauty. Because Lord knows it's full of it.
Hi guys, so we finally just reached Charlotteville. In particular, we are in a place called Campbellton. Now, you can get to this area from two ways. Along the north coast, which is passing by Mount Irvine side, all the way through the hills and straight up the northern side. Or you could come from the, the Scarborough side via Bacolet and those kind of sides there. It really doesn't make a difference. I would say the northern side is more scenic, or the northwest side. So once you get here, there's a junction. I've just come from there. People coming from the other side will come out of this road here. But anyway, once you reach here, you're going to make a left. And you're heading directly down into here to reach into Sakol. You can park your cars over here. So this is the not famous but famous Suckhole restaurant. You can see it here in the distance. So we're gonna get ourselves some delicious um, food here and then of course come out and enjoy the Charlotteville beach a little bit. Once I've eaten, I'll fly the drone around, show you guys a little bit, but this is actually one of my favorite little spots in Tobago. And every time I come up here, I try to take a drive around the island and I always stop in this place to eat. Highly recommended and when the food comes out of course I'll show you what we're doing. surfer here welcome to Tobago I don't know where we are but um yeah um, it looks really great look
Woo, guys, that meal was delicious. I'm so full <laughs> right now, though. It's a lot of food. You really get a lot of food. So I've attached the menu here. I'll put a link to their Facebook and their phone number so you can call in advance. Let me just give you some small advice about Sakoli restaurant. Um, at Tobago's pace, as they say. Meaning that do come here looking for a rush. The service is good, but they take their time. You may have a long wait, if there's, if, especially if it's busy at lunchtime. So again, if you make any trip to Charlottesville and you're coming to Sakol to eat some food, don't come to be in a rush. Plan to maybe relax on the beach. Depending on what the queue is like, you might have an hour long wait for your food. So it's not something to come to if you're feeling irritable or hungry and you can't wait. That is my personal advice. Otherwise, the food is really lovely. Mostly very fresh ingredients, fish caught in the area, a little bit of flair to the plate. You know, it's a really, really good beachside meal. So I highly recommend it and I highly recommend Charlottesville and I highly recommend the drive to Charlottesville. Maybe if you're a car sick person, not so much. It is about if you're leaving, let's say, from about Mount Irvine side or so, it might take you about an hour and a half to get up the road. So it's a slow day trip, but it's beautiful if you have the time. And that is my word on it. I hope you've enjoyed this view of Charlottesville itself. I'll be back next week with more videos, of course. And reach out to me if you want to sponsor one of these videos. I have packages in place to help people market their business and products and to help me stay making these lovely videos to put Trinidad on the map. Thank you very much again, guys. Peace out. Have a great week.